Welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green, and we have some news to get to. The Giants are signing a familiar face in Andrew Adams, the safety, the undrafted safety that started his career with the Giants, played two seasons there, and then signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers back in 2018 and has spent the last four seasons with Tampa. Not at the studio, the news broke when I was on my way home from work, so I just decided to get you guys a video from the crib, and this is why you subscribe. Video number two of the day, the tra uh, training camp starts this week, Preseason's right around the corner, and week one will be here before you know it. We're about to get some real football on the gridiron, in between the white lines. I'm pumped up just talking about it. I'm ready to see the Giants play games on Sundays, and Sundays this year are going to be fun. We might be doing something special every single Sunday, but that's why you subscribe. Hit that big red button. Videos every single day on the latest Giants news and rumors, and we're trying to get to 11,000 subs by week one. So if you love the Giants and you're looking for more content on YouTube, lock us in. Hit that big red button. But the news of today's show Jordan Schultz reported that Andrew Adams worked out for the Giants today. There was a large group. Eric Ebron was a part of that group. We'll talk about him later on in the show. But he said after the workout, he impressed and is expected to sign with the Giants. Adams started three games for the Bucks last season, recording one interception, 24 tackles, and four pass breakups. Like we talked about, Adams spent time with the Giants. He was an undrafted free agent back in 2016, played two seasons for the team his rookie year. He played in 14 games and started 13 of them, 46 tackles, one tackle for loss, one QB hit, five pass breakups, and he also had an interception. For an undrafted guy to come in to a defense and start 13 games, that's impressive. And we know that Andrew, Tom, uh, Andrew Adams, excuse me, wasn't the best player for the New York Giants, but he was solid. He filled a role, and I think he played above expectations as an undrafted free agent. He came back in 2017 with the Giants, had 34 tackles, played in all 16 games, just had four starts, then signed with the Tampa Bay Bucks in NFL free agency in 2018. He spent 18, 19, 20, and 21 for the Bucks. He's played 57 games for the Bucks over the past four seasons, and he started a lot of the games. He started, quick math here, 18 games in that time frame. So he's got you know, a lot of playing time under his belt. He's more of a seasoned pro and honestly a veteran at this point in his NFL career. He's about to be 30 years old. He's going to be able to come into a secondary that's young and doesn't have a lot of reps. He is going to still be fighting for a roster spot. And we'll take a look at the depth chart here the Giants have at the safety spot. And this is one of the positions I'm most concerned about, especially that strong safety spot. I like Julian Love, but I like him more in that nickel role where he's asked to be more of a corner and a guy that can help against the run. But in a strong safety role and a Wink Martindale defense, you're going to be asked to play in the box some. I like Love, but I don't love him playing in the box. I like him more as a nickel guy, a slot corner, and a free safety type. Then your backup strong safety is going to be Dane Belton, the rookie you selected in the fourth round of this past draft out of Iowa. I have high expectations for Dane Belton. I like him a lot. I think he does everything well enough to be a guy that's in guy that can come in and play early on in the NFL season. He can tackle, he's big, he's fast, he's strong, he's going to contribute on special teams. He's a smart player. He was a good player at Iowa for a really long time. And I think he's going to thrive in this Martindale defense. Then you got play, um, Henry Black, excuse me, He's a safety as well, probably just a camp body. You have Trenton Thompson, the undrafted free agent. Xavier McKinney, what else is there really to say? In my opinion, one of the most un underrated and kind of disrespected players in the NFL. He was the only safety last year that had 90 tackles, 90 plus tackles, excuse me, 10 plus pass breakups, and five interceptions. The only person in the NFL to do that. I think he's going to take a huge step this year and be an all pro type of player in this Martindale defense. Jaron Williams, he switched over from corner to safety, and Yusuf Corker, the undrafted free agent out of Kentucky. So there's a lot of guys that don't really have a lot of experience. Adams is going to be the vet of this room, the 30-year-old safety. He's played with the Giants before, played two seasons like we talked about. He's going to be that veteran that they can lean on. I think he's going to quickly pick up the playbook, 
under Wink Martindale. I'm a fan of the move. It's cool to get a familiar face here. If you're excited about the move, you could just drop a 33 in the comments section. That's the number that Andrew Adams wore with the New York Giants when he was here those first two years of his NFL career. So if you're happy about the signing, you're pumped up. Look, it's a signing that came off of a workout today before the couple days before training camp. So take it with what you will, but I would not be surprised if he makes this roster. He's definitely going to push for it. So type 33 in the comments section right now. Show Andrew Adams some love. It's a cool thing. You think you're out of the NFL. You get to try out for a team you started your career with, and most likely he's now going to end it with the New York football giants. So type 33 in the comment section right now. Other news that came out about the Giants today was that Eric Ebron was a part of the group of players the Giants worked out. There was supposedly a couple tight ends. A list fully hasn't come out of who worked out today, but a guy that I do know that worked out was Kahale Waring. I hope I'm saying his name right. He's a tight end. He played most recently in 2021 with the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Buffalo Bills. He's got a start in his NFL career in 2020 with the Houston Texans. He's an undrafted guy, doesn't really have many stats, has three catches in his NFL career and has played in just nine games in two seasons. But the name that everyone talked about today was Eric Ebron. And if you watch the show, we talked about Ebron last year when Daniel, or last week, excuse me, when Daniel Bellinger got noted that he was going to be heading to the pup list for that hamstring injury. This was Art Stapleton's tweet. He said the Giants had free agent tight end Eric Ebron in today as part of a larger workout. No signing yet. What be but would be an intriguing fit at a position whose depth chart seems wide open outside of rookie Daniel Bellinger, who is currently on the PUP, the pup was physically unable to perform. Might just be making a matter of taking a look. We'll see. And I think that's what it was. Ebron's a veteran in the NFL. He's had some really good years, years of 13 touchdowns in the NFL. That was back when he was one of the best tight ends in the NFL. He's started his career with the Detroit Lions, played four seasons there, then had those two years with the Colts, played really well in 2018. That's the year he had 13 touchdowns. Then he went to the Pittsburgh Steelers the past two years. Last year, played in just eight games, had some injuries, only 12 receptions, but he's only 29 years old. And if you look at what he did in 2020, he had nine receptions for 558 yards and five touchdowns. And in a tight end room right now for the Giants, that's young and doesn't have a lot of experience. And Daniel Bellinger, who was a fourth round draft pick this past year. You're expecting him to start week one, but he's not even going to be there for training camp. He is on the pup list. They can elevate him at any time, but the rules of the pup list are if he plays, if week one rolls around, excuse me, and he's on the pup list, he's going to have to miss the first four games of the season. That's how it works. So I think the Giants will sign another tight end. I like it to be Eric Ebron. I think he could come in and compete against a guy like Ricky Seals-Jones or Jordan Aikens, who the Giants signed in NFL free agency from the Houston Texans. I know Austin Allen is a fan favorite, the undrafted free agent, the 6'9", 250-pound guy. I'm not sure he's going to make this roster. I think his chances increase with Bellinger on the pup list. He could be a practice squad type of guy. But if you're looking to add a veteran, I think Eric Ebron is a name you can look at. We talked about him last week in the Daniel Bellinger injury update video. We thought the Giants would look at him. They worked him out today. Nothing official, but stay tuned. We'll keep you updated on that. Another guy I would like to see the Giants go out and look at is Jared Cook. I know he's a little bit older, 35 years old compared to Eric Ebron, but he's more, he honestly had a better last year in the NFL. He's still a solid player. He's a veteran. He's played in the NFL for a long time. He can help out a young locker room. And I think when you're bringing in um, a new offensive coordinator, and you you have a lot of new players on this offense. I think Cook could help those guys. He's a vet. He could digest this playbook well. And sometimes, as a young quarterback, you just want that tight end that you can throw to over the middle and have that trust in. So in today's video, we talked about the Giants signing Andrew Adams. It's going to be a one-year deal, veteran minimum type of thing. He worked out today. He earned that roster spot. He's going to have to find out, though, if he can make the 53-man roster and compete with that. And they also worked out Eric Ebron. That's today's show. I appreciate everybody who tuned in and made it this far in the video. If you want to hit a real one roll call and type real one in the comment section because you made it this far in the video, I'll never stop you for that. But until then, go Giants, and we'll see you next time on New York Giants Now.